what's up you guys if you're going to be towing a trailer with your honda passport you're going to need trailer wiring it's required by the law let's go ahead and break down that really easy install you'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation so our install is going to be in the cargo area Honda made it really easy for us. They have a pre-wired tow harness right behind our driver's side paneling. So to get to that, we're gonna start by lifting up on the floor panels. And we're just gonna use this hook to hang it from up top. Next, we're gonna remove these storage trays. It's held them by these two twist fasteners. We're just gonna twist them to the side and then this will allow us to remove it. Next, we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. It's just gonna pull up and we'll set it aside. Next, we're gonna remove this storage tray here on the driver's side. It's held in by some hidden clips underneath the liner. There's two right here, one right here, and one back here. Now to remove it, you're gonna pull back on the liner where the clips are, and that will allow you to pull this out. And to give you an idea, you can see one of the clips right here that are holding in these tabs on the storage tray. Now, our instructions tell us to remove these two cargo hooks to pull back on our driver's side paneling, but we've determined that you can just reach your hand up right here and you'll be able to pull down and you can expose our tow harness that we need to plug into. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our wiring harness. Now we're going to ground our white wire with the terminal. Now we're going to route it underneath our liner towards our rear threshold panel. And we're going to ground it using the provided self-tapping screw in our kit. Now let's talk about where you can store your four flat harness. You can leave it in your cargo area. You can just leave it in the storage bins when not in use and then just pull it through the trunk when you need to use it or you can bring it underneath your vehicle. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. We've got a grommet right down here that we're gonna remove. So we'll go ahead and remove that grommet and then we'll push our four flat down underneath our vehicle. Now we're gonna reinstall our grommet, but to make sure the wire can fit through, we're going to cut a slit halfway through and our wire's just gonna sit in that slit when we reinstall it. And with everything connected, we're all done in the cargo area, so we're gonna put everything back together. With our four flat connector underneath our vehicle, we're gonna route it over and through our bumper support to keep it away from the exhaust towards our hitch receiver. Now we're gonna secure our four flat harness to our bumper we're gonna be using a four flat mounting bracket. This isn't included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. So we're just gonna line it up here on the bottom of the bumper, and then using a 3 16th drill bit, we'll drill our first hole. Then we'll bring our hardware into place. And then we'll line up our bracket and secure it in with the nut. Then we're gonna make sure that it's squared and we'll repeat on the second hole. And then we'll tighten it up using a 3 8 socket. Then we'll bring our four flat harness and bring it through. And then we'll put the dust cover on. Now we're gonna take our extra slack and we're gonna zip tie it behind our bumper. Now in the engine compartment, we're gonna open up our fuse box on the driver's side. We're gonna push down on these three tabs, pull off the lid, and now we're going to insert the included 20 amp fuse into fuse position 11 right here on the end. And this will power our trailer wiring. Now that our wiring is powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.